So we have our reptifogger here. We're gonna take one. Over, we're gonna take the bottle, as you guys can see. All right, we're gonna fill it up with water. I leave a little room that way we can just shake it up a little bit. Again, you're gonna take your F10. You got it in there? Yeah. What you do is you'll kind of tilt it. Squeeze it and it slowly fills up, fills up that chamber and it measures it out for you. So we're gonna do five milliliters of the F10 to one liter, which is the whole bottle of Reptifogger, and we'll pour it right in there. All right, <clears throat> cap back on this. Top back on. Oh my gosh. Screw the top back on the water bottle. Place it in the rectifogger. It's obviously filling up. And then what you do is you turn it up all the way up to high. I'm going to put some paper. Paper to cover those other holes. I know you can't really see it in there. Actually, you can. See how it's fogging all the inside? See how it's coming down up through the tube? And obviously you will have the snake in there, but I don't need to have a snake in there right now. And let it run for 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, let me show you. See? So again, you're gonna let it run for 10 minutes. Let your snake in there, let it run and go for 10 minutes. <clears throat> and then what you'll do is you'll shut it off and let him sit in there for 10 minutes. Now while he's sitting in there and it's filling up and doing all, so it's total 20 minutes, you can obviously clean out his cage. Again, you wanna use the F10 to clean and disinfect everything, his whole entire cage or tub, whatever you might be using. <clears throat> it's also a good idea to switch them off if you have them on like a substrate, like you know, either the Repta Chip, Repta Bark, the Coconut, whatever, Repta Prime, any of the Repta, blah, 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 blah. You know, switch over to paper towels and, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Switch over to paper towels, that way, you know, it's just easier to keep everything clean. Now you're going to repeat this process two times a day for 10 days. It's, it, you know, it's 
it's a pain in the butt. But at the same time, you know, it, it'll it'll save you a bunch of money in the end. It'll help out a lot. A whole lot. Um Okay, so two times a day, ten minutes on, and I'm sitting there for ten minutes for ten days. Okay? Oh, I'm sure you're probably like, well, you know, the Reptifogger, that's pretty expensive. That's probably, that's like, it's listed, I think, on Petco for 80 bucks. But let me tell you something. And if you see it on Amazon for like 40 or 46, you're like, well, you know, I'll just order from Amazon and have it shipped. You know, if you're like me, you do the free shipping without the Prime. I'm sure a lot of people have Prime, though, so you'll get two, free two-day shipping. But if you don't feel like waiting and you feel like it's an emergency and you want to get this taken care of right away and there's a Petco near you, Petco will match Amazon's prices. So I got this Reptifogger listed at Petco for $79, you know, on the shelf. Show them that Amazon had it for $44 and they price matched it. It's a policy that they have and they have to instate it. Again, if you ever have to get anything from Petco, you don't, I mean, you can go on to their website. What you do is go into the Petco, look at the SKU number on it, which is on like the price tag on the shelf. Go to Petco.com, enter that number, and like 99% of the time, it's usually like, if not half the price on their website or a few dollars cheaper, they will match their website price also. So like, trust me, I, I, I'm, you know, I hate to say cheap when it comes to like my reptiles and whatnot, but like, you know, I just stretch my money. I just, you know, try to save every dollar I can. You know, I mean, all my snakes are in beautiful health and great. The only reason I had to uh, come up with this res respiratory infection treatment was because uh, I received a blood python from a friend. And, you know, it's it's not something you notice right away. You know, he just, he took great care of the snake. You know, he did a great job. Like, you know, the snake was, besides that, was perfectly healthy. When I went to pick up the snake, you know, he just was pretty much like, look, man, I work a lot and I don't think it's fair. I can't give him enough time. You know, I, I got them, I picked them up. You know, everything seemed cool. Well, you know, when I finally got them home, you know, I kind of just noticed, you know, he was he he was breathing with his mouth open. Like, his mouth was open, like, really, really wide. Well, not really wide, but it was very noticeable. I'll post a picture in the comments when I post this video to the Facebook page. To show you what you're looking for. He didn't have the other signs of like bubbly mucus coming out of his mouth or his nose or any of that. But just the mouth breathing. And like blood pythons are even more easily deceptible, deceptible to getting respiratory infections just from stress alone. So I mean he could have gotten it from like the move. You know. Me putting him in a, in a, in a bag. And... You know, taking them, taking them home. Honestly, you know. So there's our sulc sulcata. Is that how you say it? Soaking. He's awesome. He's a cool little guy. But back to this. So yep. Take all that information. It's amazing, especially that half price stuff at Petco. Um. People have complained about the Reptifogger. This is the only reason I've, I've needed or used a Reptifogger. Saying it only lasts like so long. Keep your receipt. Peco has a 90 day policy. And then you know what I mean? And then if it's more than 90 days, you just keep the box and the receipt, keep a stash somewhere and then send it back to Reptifogger. You know? I don't play around when it comes to, I don't have, my wife's a full time college student. I have three children. I don't have time to play around, you know what I mean, on on, on weak weak ass products. So I make sure I get my value out of them. 
one way or another. So just to recap, full bottle of water in the retifogger with five milliliters of the F10 disinfectant two times a day, 20 minutes, 10 minutes with the machine on, 10 minutes with the snake chilling in the tub, breathing all that goodness in. You'll notice like after the first time, you'll notice like there was no tongue action from my snake. Like he didn't even want to taste the air and instantly he started tasting air and like breathing better better and it was just so amazing and he is in such great shape now it is truly amazing it really worked okay so again 20 minutes two times a day 10 minutes with the machine on 10 minutes just chilling in the tub then you, again you can just start cleaning his tub when you do that Clean his tub at least once a day with this. You know, it'll be awesome. It's just, you know, because when they have the RI, it's just like, especially if they're foaming at the mouth and all that stuff, like, you know, it gets all over their tub. They, you know, they, you know, nose rub. They're just wiping it all over the cage, which is like pretty much, you know, like spreading it. Like if you were to like wipe your runny nose and just rub it, you know, wipe your hands somewhere, that's basically what you know snakes do when they have our eyes and it's all leaking out their mouth and their nose they're just you know rubbing it everywhere so you gotta keep their cat their uh cage or tub clean and it's, it's easy to do with paper towels um also bump up the temps a little bit keep a higher little bit of humidity helps them better it's like almost like a you know like a vaporizer machine for when you sleep at night and you have a cold so, and other than that, there are some uh, over-the-counter medications that you can get that are made for fish, but will work for reptiles, because it's the same exact thing. You're just going to have to do some mathematics with the weight of your snake and, you know, fill, figuring out the dosage. So what you would really need from a vet would be like metranan, <laughs> metran, it does all, but it's like, it's called fish zol, F-I-S-H-Z-O-L-E. And what you do is 125 milligrams per kilogram of snake's weight. So again, fish, fish, fish zol. 125 milligrams to for every kilogram your snake weighs okay and you know yeah that's that's pretty much it man. so this like i mean even though this little bottle costs 20 or 30 bucks it is worth the investment keep your you know keep all your everything just clean and just disinfect it like it's it, it it's it's strong enough and that's why you gotta dilute it to kill rabies. Like it'll kill rabies. Like it's been studied and can can kill rabies. That's why it's able to like be used on you know, they use it to disinfect the veterinary tools and all that stuff. The tables, you know, parvo, all that shit. All those viruses. This stuff kills it. You know what I mean? So when the snake breathes it in, it's killing that respiratory infection. It's killing the virus. It's killing the infection. But it's still safe for your pet. So. Alright, and that's it for today, I guess. Uh, we'll get back to you this week. We're going to try, I'm going to try to build a snake, another snake rat for the adult snakes. And that way I can make that rack just a, uh, just like a sub-adult and hatchling rack. And yeah, so it'd be cool. I'll do a video for that. It's pretty simple, you know, pretty. I go inexpensive and use melam melamine from Home Depot. It's like $35 a sheet. 
I know other people would be like, no, World Warps and da 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 da. But you know what? It's $35. And if I get a couple years out of it, it works for me. Um, you know, plus you don't, not like they need to be super wet anyway. Not like you're doing, uh, it's not like my, my Savannah monitors need like 85, 90% humidity, you know, in their cages. So. We know ball pythons don't need all that much. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Follow us at crm.reptiles.2018 on Facebook and YouTube. Depending on where you see this video. No. And that's it. We'll catch you next time. Later.